since it's Valentine's Day, I thought I'd talk about two distinctions that I think are useful called honoring and cherishing. Now this will not solve all relationships, problems in your life. So I'm saying in the area of honoring, what it means is an appreciation of action without a but. Once you add the but, you've just taken all the honoring out of it. And this doesn't solve all relationships, but it's done some amazing miracles for people who got this. It can be subtle. And my favorite story is this woman sat down and I was coaching her in her business, but she said, can I talk about something personal? I said, yeah, but I'm not a therapist, but I'll give you my personal opinion. She goes, well, you know, I want my boyfriend to come over and just sit down and talk to me. And he wants to fix things. And I said, well, send him to my house. <laughs> no, I said, well, what if you do something like you actually find something for him to do, appreciate it, find it something you think you'd do okay, appreciate it, and see what happens. Now, I didn't know what I was doing. I said, again, I'm not a therapist. I'm just giving two cents, you know? She came back. She sits down. She's crying. I went, well, that's why I'm not a therapist, you know? <clears throat> So then I said, what happened? And he says, we had the best talk ever. I found little things for him to do. He did it. I appreciate it. I remember not saying the but. I want to say, but you could have done this. It was good enough. And then we sat down and he listened for a while. And I realized it wasn't natural for him to have to listen to emotions at that much. I go, well, that's why you need girlfriends like this. And the piece of it is, and, and, and then now I want to talk about cherishing. Because I've worked with engineers that have no idea. You tell them what you need to do is cherish their wife, and I might have just spoken Klingon to them. So I, this is one that really interests me. And if you want to be an, a reviewer of my book and help me and develop this more, how do you teach an engineer cherishing that wants to know? And hopefully it's before he comes home and all the furniture's been moved out of the house. And he was surprised, which I've actually had happen more than once. And I go, she sent you clues, you didn't get them. Anyway, cherishing, you know, is, is really to me, and I, I, I want to open this up. I thought I'd ask you, what does cherishing look like? So if you were going to meet an engineer that wanted to know, what does cherishing energy look like? You know, honor is something's done and it's appreciated. See, men are very susceptible to shame. Now, women are susceptible to violence, so men need to know that as well. There's real risks they have growing up in our culture of fear of violence. But to men, shame feels like violence. Hard to understand as a woman, but in the anatomy of a male, it shows up that way. I'm not saying that's fair or right. I'm just telling you some facts with it. So I want to know, if you had an engineer... And, you were gonna, and he said, I don't know, what does cherishing look like? What would you say? And I'll repeat what you say, so B, throw something out. Yes? Appreciating somebody for who they are. Okay, appreciating something for who they are. Somebody, somebody for who they are. Okay? Loving things about that person. Okay, loving things about their person. So they, they think you have a great breast. Would that be loving things about them? No, you see, it's an engineer. Do you got it? You got it? I want you to think deeper than that. See, what you get is this is obvious to the feminine system. This isn't obvious to the engineer. So what you gave would be a train wreck of advice to my engineer in my mind. Okay? You know? That's why I'm divorced. Yeah, no, no, and I, I mean, you understand, I mean, I'm just doing that for conversation. I don't mean that, but yeah, go ahead. The question is, what is cherish? If he had asked, and he had the ability to ask. So we got great ones. I love that. Doing a chore that might have been traditionally something she'd do is different. Because if you said he got up and he changed the oil in her car, that still could be cherishing, well, no, but not the same. Okay? I want to get it. Okay? And then if, but you said, what was the other? Dishes. Does the dishes. He and told her dirt while she's cooking. Thank you for cooking dinner for me. Okay, so it's a, a, a thank you. To me, you were right on. It's just, it's more like a noticing of small things, often not expected, that usually have to do with emotion and core more than appearance. Am I on to something? Yes. You see? You see, that, that's a, an engineer could get that, but might misinterpret it what was said. So that's why I wanted to get, yes. Eye 
So I say, wonderful, another method of men cherishing is giving their attention fully. And it's okay to let your partner know this is not natural for me as an engineer. Do you see? Because uh, that's a wonderful one, giving of your attention. In fact, one of the core things the father brings to the, the relationship other than calculated risk is his attention versus the sense of kind of uh, emotional love. And so that's it. What, did you have one? Yeah. I did, having dated a couple engineers. Yeah, right. They work well with equations and structure. Right. So you say to them, know it would really help if you just say here's the equation thank you for blank very succinct and it works and that's the thing of you know ask for what you want and not don't get mad because they don't automatically come up with it yeah no, it's the one before. Yeah. Giving your attention but not your advice. Giving your attention but advice. In fact, the, the other great method to me, cherishing in, is the understanding to the engineer that if by listening you are solving a problem. That's how it, that's yeah. kind of forming into the equation. Now these are sort of obvious, but I still see them being missed, you know, in many places. So anyone else, what is cherishing? If you're full inside and you're a man and you know where you're going, then the question is who do you want to go with you? But we aren't even supporting our young men in where you want to go. Yes? Yeah, I just mean that um, I think that what I think is cherishing something I'm thinking that you value is to where you'll feel like you're doing something that's going to make Yeah, so in my world, you know, okay, but in my world, my wife is my beautiful wife, independent of her opinion. And just so you know, if I had to put makeup on to get out of the house, it would never happen. Just forget it. The piece of it is, is then, then in honoring, you know, what might be a way that activates honoring?